Hey guys, Dr. Dobson, and in this video we're going to be restoring this fractured 4.7. Uh, this is a patient that came in for a spec. Um, first time that we'd seen them um, complaining of a broken tooth that they wanted fixed on the same day. So we got them in, did the spec. We saw that this 4.7 had a fractured lingual cusp uh, with an existing composite occlusal and some decay under the uh, restoration. So we made a plan to just restore it directly, and that's what we're going to get into here. So. We'll go over the prep, the bonding, the restoration, and the finishing. So we'll begin uh, preparing uh, by removing all the old composite material. We'll use a high speed to get the bulk of it, and then I'll typically dry off the tooth and then use a slow speed to remove any of the uh, remaining restorative material until we have all of it removed and then after we've done that we'll um, make sure that all of the internal surfaces are nice and rounded with a large round diamond you can see that little crack on the distal surface a crown is an option but this tooth was not symptomatic and uh, I you know I don't see enough of these things split to recommend crowning routinely unless it looks really scary or they have cracked tooth syndrome so direct restoration is going to do just fine for this tooth long term we're going to check if there's any decay by just poking the dentin with an explorer we wouldn't do this if we were anywhere close to the pulp obviously but once the tooth surface uh, the tooth structure feels hard to the touch we will get a tolfemire on no need to use a sectional just going to lasso the lingual wall and then uh, and then build it up from here so I like to condition the surface of the tooth for um, my Equia Forte with a five second phosphoric acid etch the manufacturer says to use a 15 second polyacrylic acid scrub but I find that the five second phosphoric acid etch does well and I've seen literature that backs that up so we'll overfill the cavity and then pack it in with a moist cotton pellet, uh, wait five minutes for the material to set, and then come back, remove the matrix, and then start removing the excess restorative material with a large round diamond. And you can see that there's some wear on the 4.6 as well, an existing occlusal composite. That little dark area near the distal was, um, was not soft whatsoever or tacky to the explorer, so um, replacement of that restoration is not indicated. So we'll just remove the uh, excess, the bulk excess with a large round diamond and then the fine finishing with a flame and a slow speed. And I like the slow speed. You can really see the margins when the material dries out. And once we're happy with the shape, we'll dry the material and then check the bite with some thick articulating paper and take down any high spots with our large round on the slow speed. And then once we're happy with everything, we will apply the Equia Coat varnish and light cure that. And that is gonna be it for today.